Oh my gosh. I know, Josh, I know you're recording already. You should have heard my wife. I got to tell you this real quick. You should have heard my wife. She, Go ahead. She gets home and she's running around the house. She's like, I want a sketch card. I want a sketch card. I was like, how the hell did you win a sketch card? So she shows me the sketch card. I was like, no freaking way. She's like, yeah, it's cool. It's drawn on the card. I was like, no freaking kidding. So I pulled the sketch card. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, Marvel Madness here. We are doing a special Brock box break with Brittany. What is going on, Brittany? How's it going? And we also have in the house, we have Valor Comic Services right there. Where's my fan? Where's my hand? There he is. There we go. And we got TBC Breaks, True Blue Collectibles. What is going on? And we got Brittany which everybody knows Brittany. Brittany. Uh, Brittany, what is up? We appreciate you. You're going to break open a box of 2021-2022 annual, right? Yes. Awesome. Yep. Came in yesterday. That is a fresh new box. Let's break this open and see what we can get then, Brittany. Awesome. Sorry, is this your first time? It wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. Now this is, is this your first time opening this one? Yeah, I was going to ask. Is this, yeah. is this your first time opening a whole sealed box of Marvel cards on YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, you
Ooh, X23. Finished off the last pack with the Wolverine, starting the second pack. Starting the second pack. <laughs> that is magic. Nice. There you go. There's your surfer, too. Ooh, look oh, at that hey. surfer beginnings. Oh, yeah. Hello. Show that to the camera. That's that's a good one. That's a really nice one. Yeah, so the humble beginnings have um, art wow, from like, the first cool. year and then art from this the year of this set, at least. Man, I like that humble beginning surfer card. Mm-hmm. I think they did a good job on that insert set this year, too. Oop. I think that would be a good card to get graded, just to have that return of Silver Surfer back into Marvel cards. Mm -hmm. So I pulled the Galactica sticker, or I pulled the Galactus sticker um, in overtime after we got done filming on Wednesday. Oh, did you? Yeah. And I had the Silver Surfer sticker already. So. Oh, wow, that's cool. Nice right, canvas there. Really yeah, that's a canvas. Yep. Yeah, so the canvas is the same artwork as the base card. It just doesn't have the it's background. A different feel. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, different feel and the background's gone. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dr. Strange. That's yep, cool that's a cool one. Cool. <laughs> like that one. Mm, oh, Ghost nice. Spider. Just, ooh, Spidey Glenn. You got some pretty decent packs for characters so far. Yeah. That's yeah. Really good. These yeah. Are, this, is, this, is, this is good. I did not know... When I first started getting into this, I didn't know um, anything about Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen or I, I don't know how many different names she has, but yeah, it, it um, confused me too. I was like, I who's who here? <laughs> yeah, they they have different names and different. Like, Gwen Stacy, Ghost Spider, Spidey Gwen, yeah, 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 and uh, I actually. It was a 2016 uh, Upper Deck Gem, numbered out of 100. Mm -hmm. And I sold her within like two minutes of posting her. I oh, put her on bid and then I put a buy it now and somebody just like right away snatched right it up. Away. And, yeah. Right away. That always makes you wonder if you listed it too low. Yep. That is... Do you have a personal yep. story to share about that, Nathan? Shush. <laughs> no, please don't. That'll be like the fourth or fifth time I've heard that story. And it, it involves Dude, me. I know go. it involves him. He was my he was my um comp source for that story, so let's hear it. I'm gonna throw Scandella under the bus and it was just saying I didn't know. <laughs> he he agreed with it. the pricing, so <laughs> nice. Shang Chi. Did you guys see where Upper Deck announced that the Shang-Chi MCU set's about to be available? Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Uh, there you go, Galactus. Galactus. Oh, Galactus. There you go. That's a canvas. That's your silver, canvis? That's your silver there, surfer counterpart there. Yeah. Is there, or is there one of these in each pack? The no, you, so you'll get, uh, you'll get eight other. canvases per box on average, and then you'll get five silvers per box on average. Okay. So it should be like one in every two packs, but yeah, you pre you've, I think you've hit one in every pack so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've never heard of this person before. Oh yeah, he's uh, oh, he's the same one that, that I just got. Yep, yeah, he's the one on your annual team. impact there. And then there you go. There's your. So set, you can set that one next to your canvas, and you can see the difference there. Yeah. How the background is missing on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can That's feel cool. on the canvas it's different. Yeah. I do have the canvas cards from the 95 masterpieces. They feel oh, a lot yeah. different oh, than yeah. that. Though. Those are good, the, the 1995 canvases. What do you got there? Which yeah, character is that? The table. Oh, okay. Yeah. Table. Nice one. Doing the Captain America salute. So Arrow, right. another one I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. There's a lot different looking Arrow than what was in the previous set. What is this one? It says <laughs> number one spot. Yep. So there's 25 of those in this set. So it's um, it's one of it's the like the number one. Cards. I believe it's the number one of each of the comic books hey, for the different got characters. Auto. Ooh, she got an auto. Got auto. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's okay. that's a hit for you. 
So that's, that's a like hit. supposed to be your big hit James in the box. Corner. Jason Aaron, writer. That's a good one. Okay. Avengers good. number 43. Show and the then... camera that. Let's see that. Nice. Nice. Can see it? Okay. What's the, co the comic? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Cool. So he was a writer on that specific book. Yeah. Or probably in that series, I would imagine. That's super cool. That's a big hit out of yeah. Out of you go, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Congrats. Uh, onslaught. Thank you. I'm I didn't sorry. know onslaught was a character. I thought it was um, a name okay. of a set that came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the 90s, there was a storyline where, like, Professor Xavier and Magneto were fighting, and their personalities clashed, and they clashed so hard it created a whole entity called Onslaught. It was like a giant storyline where the Avengers and X-Men had a team up to try to defeat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really wish that I didn't give that tub of comic books that I had away. I really wonder what I had in there. I yeah. never thought I would be into their stuff, so... Don't think <laughs> about it, Brittany. It's not <laughs> worth it. It's not worth it. Just, Just think about it now. Crazy. <laughs> yep. Oh, I see a sparkly one in here. Yep, so that should be your silver. Uh, or it'll either be here. your silver or it'll be your backscatter sticker. Yep. Alrighty. Let me see. Black Winter. Black Winter's cool. The power seen... ratings on the Black Winter's insane. It's all sevens. I've actually seen a, a whole box of annual open without backscatter in the box. Yeah, it's like anything else. It's supposed to be in there, but yeah. Oh, she yeah. got a backscatter. That's what that yeah, is. She got a backscatter there. So the one she's looking at right now is the star rookies. So there's five star rookies, and essentially in 2021, they would have been new characters that came out in the yeah. set or so in the cool. comics. Yeah. So in a, in a way, these are like the rookie cards for that character. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yep. So I'll put that one in this pile. And then you got and your backscatter Dr. sticker. Strange. Oh, Dr. nice. Strange. Wow. Nice. So in the past, those have had a tendency to actually like curl up and kind of create like a cupped version, like oh. the some sports cards do. So it's good to, when you're done to sleeve those and put them in a top letter so they stay flat. Yeah. For okay. Sure. And then Craven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I asked um, Pancake Analytics about the Disney cards because yeah, all of mine started to get like this little yeah kill shape in the middle of it, and I didn't know. It's some it, some cards stay flat, and then other yeah. cards. Curl. It kind of depends. It depends. It's kind of like hardwood flooring. It. Depends on the humidity levels and stuff like that in the rooms. So if it gets too dry, it'll like take the moisture out of the card. And because of the foiling, it creates kind of a bow in the card. Mm. Okay. Oh, I see good stuff in here. All right. And Dormammu, you're in Arizona, so I think it's probably starting to get pretty dry down there for you guys. Yeah, possibility. Yep. I love the backscatters though of this set. Mm -hmm. They're 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 like my little vibranium inside the annual. <laughs> so are these these are the stickers, the backscatter? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it's an actual sticker, yeah. Yep. And then there's ones that are like this that are not stickers. No. Not in no. this set. So there's so uh the, okay, I think it's, so all the ones 50, that look Yeah, I believe it's fifty, but that might not be right. There's okay. only 15 of those. Let's is there only 15 this of those? Is what I, I think this yeah. is what I was thinking of. It's not, a huge, it's not a huge set, Nathan. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, so oh, there's, there's a silver of every yeah. one of the base cards. Yeah. So okay. you'll have 100 base cards, 100 canvas, and 100 silver. That's right. Okay, so this is like the parallel silver? Mm-hmm. Yep. And that you'll, you should get five of those per box. Okay. And um, we toad. Yep. Number one spot. 
number one spot, X-Men. I got an odd trivia question for you guys. Do you know what Toad's first name is? Like his actual real first name? No, but you do. I do, unfortunately. <laughs> what is it? Mortimer. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a funny fact. For some reason, I thought there was more saying, I, that, Why is he carrying flowers? I don't know, but I pulled the printing plate of him. I did <laughs> see that, and that's the first thing I thought of when I saw that, is why is he carrying <laughs> flowers? I think he might be going on a date with um, Black Widow. She's all dressed up, too. Oh, okay. yeah, that's the story. Yeah, could be. He's taking her out to the gala. That's right. <laughs> the thing in Black Widow or companion set. <laughs> you got to piece them together to complete the date. That's funny. See, you know what I've noticed in Marvel is that um, everybody has had a relationship with everybody else. Yeah. I know. They're all a bunch of hussies. Yeah. yeah, like they didn't really get around, man. Wolverine like seems to the women. I didn't like this. this first. What's the annual impact? Is that the one so that's that like that, that's that Sing Chi that you pulled earlier? Oh, okay. So that's just another insert set. So your hits really are your backscatters, your splash ticulars. Spider Man. Hey, Spider Man. Spider. It's a good one. Uh, Another Spider Man. Yeah, so your parallels. Oh, and Venom. Yep. So, so Brittany. Yep. yep. Does that look like Venom to you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> He's so trying to be fun of me. No. no, he's not making fun of you. He's no, just I'm not. Barring. Because the, the running thing is it's not Venom, but it is, but it isn't. Yeah. Because the only way Spider-Man is black suit is because of Venom. Yeah. But it's technically just Peter Parker with it, Peter Parker with his black suit. Like, yeah. it's, not, it's not Venom's outside look what he usually looks like. Yeah. It's just the spider, black Spidey, Spider-Man suit. Yeah, it's just this, they're calling the symbiote Venom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I remember calling up my friend and asking him. I think I bugged him a lot during the beginning of this. Um, because I kept seeing cards and these characters looked like other characters but were named different. And I was like, well, why does this look exactly like Spider-Man but its name is Venom? We'll say I think it's Morph. Night. I think it's Morph. Morph. Nice. They're bringing Morph back. That's a name I never heard either. All right, Echo and Captain America. You're doing great, by the way, Brittany. Oh, I'm sure a lot better than last time. <laughs> it's all good. But last time was your very first time on camera. We were all there at one point in time. Yep. Oh my God. I at points, I, I feel so bad because it seems like I'm not paying attention to what Joshua was saying. And don't worry, we don't pay attention. It, it wasn't that, but it, it looks so bad. I don't know, everybody knows that, but it looks so bad on video. And I just like, I need everybody to know that I was not ignoring you or. No, you're <laughs> you're Pen pen yeah, penance. Nice. Number one spot, Black Panther. Nice. Pharisee, the canvas. She Hulk. Oh, the red She Hulk. The red the She Hulk. Soviet She Hulk. She's a big <laughs> She-Hulk right there too. Mm -hmm. It's like she's I a Twister's comment when he he said she's busting. 
a good way to explain it. <laughs> and Spider-Man. There you go. Cool. Yeah, so after seeing a bunch of these boxes, I am starting to notice some collation because it seems like She-Hulk always comes right before Spider-Man does. So. Oh, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's funny how some of these, uh, we pick up the collation because I've yeah. done that too on, uh, on Flare Ultra Avengers, you know? Yep, you start to notice it. Like, Venom's always the first card in the pack. Yep. Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. What, what does Derp say? He's a, car, he's a used car salesman. Dub over the <laughs> Star Rookies. There's another, another rookie card. Pog your pog. Pog your pog. Pog yeah. your pog, is that? He's like a giant crocodile or alligator. Huh. Interesting. Oh, Polaris. How come uh, her and Enchantress sometimes look exactly alike? Like with the little head thing on? Um, can you explain that, Valor? I, I don't I'm, know. I can. I'm trying to figure... Oh, I think I do know what part it is. Oh, I'll show you them. Um, if I remember after this, I'll show you them. Okay, so Polaris, uh, Canvas. Mr. Fantastic. Did you have something to say, Valor, on that? On Polaris and Enchantress? Yeah. Yeah, so Enchantress normally has always worn her little crown. Polaris, not necessarily, but whenever the storyline House of M came out, Polaris is Magneto's daughter. And a lot of her okay. powers are the same as Magneto. And whenever that House of M story came, they had like a whole royal family. So they dressed bougie, like royal family, everything like that. Well, she started wearing a head crown. And that artwork just happens to come later, where she still kind of incorporated that attire mm. after that storyline. So that that's why they look like. Plus, you know, green hair, green powers, green suit. It it happens. Yeah, I think the one that I was thinking of is 2013 Women of Marvel written house. Yeah. Um, on the back side of the card the pictures look almost exactly the same yeah and i'm, I'm unfamiliar with what you're talking about look at you spit out knowledge about rittenhouse look at that yeah huh you he was spit he was giving knowledge. you a compliment and i'm sorry <laughs> well if it was a compliment i want to hear it again they were geeking out because you knew a lot of stuff about rittenhouse yeah. yeah oh yeah my dad had a lot of written stuff house um, I think Spider Man Britain House Archives, I think it was 2009. Yeah, I like that set a lot. That's a really good set. Yeah, that's an awesome set. There's some good cards. Yeah. Though, those were cards, I only have the foil versions, but they're different you, from a lot you, of the cards that I've seen. You only have the foil versions, like that's. <laughs> That's what everybody is after is the foil versions. So you're talking yeah. about cards you can grade. Those foil versions, if they're really good and they're popular characters, those I are great I have a cards. couple. Yeah. Um, she Loki one? has better collections than a lot of us that are doing these videos. Yeah. <laughs> She's got lots of cards, guys. These two. Yeah, so talking about Enchantress, there was one time uh, before, I think me and my wife hadn't been married yet. We were on a date. We were around people and they brought up Marvel to me. And I mentioned Red Hole. And then she was like, there's a Red Hole? I'm like, yeah, there's a Red Hole. I'm like, what's the difference? With, what, what, why is there a Red Hole? And why, why is there a Green Hole? Like, what's the difference between Red Hole and Green Hole? That's what I want to know. And I looked at her and said, One, one's red and one's green. That'd be my response too. Yeah. The pigment of their skin. Yeah. But why? Why is 
what's the purpose? Okay, so Bruce Banner is like known as Green Hulk. Well, he's also Grey Hulk. Different story, different time. Red Hulk. You know what? I thought when I came across the card with a Grey Hulk in it, I thought it was like a misprint. <laughs> No, uh, so whenever the Incredible Hulk first appeared, like in his first comic appearance, he's gray. And the reason he is gray is because of the ink that was used in manufacturing. So when it was printed, it came out gray. And then the second issue, they just had the means to fix the issue. So then they turned him green. So he was always meant to be green, but then they turned him gray. Later so it he turned kind gray. of was a misprint then, right? No, it, it would have been accurate. It, the misprint was way back in the day with the first comic. Oh, okay. More of a manufacturer defect. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I do have a card. This one right here. It ran out of the magenta part of the ink. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's so, cool. That's an it's error. Cool. That's called an error card. It's cool. Yeah, so I don't know if I was going to send it in or not. But... I would. Okay, so these were the three that I was, I was going to send in for grading of okay. the written books. Yeah. Now, there's a there's also a, um, a Venom from that set, too. And uh, it shows the uh, his that face cool. and all that. I mean, I haven't went through it all. Oh, okay. I don't know if you could see. I can see. Yeah, we can see those. Yeah. I don't think that. There's. It's just one card, and it's Venom. You know, there's guys out there right now. They're like drooling over the cards. They're just like, ah. Yeah, all those <laughs> foils. <laughs> like, there's people just love these foils. Like, you can't really get your hands on them. Oh wow, them. really? Yeah. But in, in good condition, if you can get those in good condition graded, I mean they're really good cards. So there was no venom. I, honestly I think that if if I did come across the venom, it probably wasn't gradable. No. Oh, okay. Um and that's probably why it's not in there. Yeah, you're good. And then I have more, like a stack more that's in top loaders, but. You've had a decent number of your canvas cards, but you're still looking for some more of your, um, the silvers from your box here. Yeah, that's true. And I think we, and I think you still have to pull your splash ticular as well. Yep. Yeah. So you got some more hits. Still a possibility to get a sketch card too. Uh... Fingers the crossed. To be the big hit out of the box. Man, in, that's in theory, true. it should be, but I mean, there's always a chance that there's uh, bad Multiple. collation. Like Multiple. I've seen both back scatters come out. I've seen boxes without splash particulars. Yeah. Though it's possible mm -hmm. to get another hit out of the box. Yeah. Well, I'm happy with whatever comes out. It wasn't an expensive box. Did you get it from one of your local shops? Um, I ordered it from Dave and Adams. Okay. Yeah, they're. I don't think that my city has any oh. local shops. I'm like pushed all the way into the corner of Arizona where there's nothing over here. I gotcha. No. No school. Yeah. No. <laughs> yep. Root. I am that great. was one of the out of 88s we pulled on Wednesday. Yeah, that was that was a sick card you pulled. What was it? What there's a gold version of those cards as well. They're numbered to 88. Yep. Oh, and you pulled it? We, we pulled the Groot out of 88, and we pulled the Magneto out of 88 on Wednesday, yeah. Oh, cool. I pulled the Scream. You did, <laughs> you did, it? yeah. Oh, I found a Splash Ticular. Yeah, that's your Splash Ticular. Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, like a, it's a Lenticular. It's like the it's like an old 1990s style that you would normally see in like the baseball packs. Oh, Brittany, I that pulled a so Splash cool. Ticular. I pulled one of those that has Rogue on it. I want to send you. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks I'll nice. trade you something for it. All right. Oh, how, how about that? That big promo. Done. Done. Let's trade. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good.
Avengers. Okay. So the splash ticklers have different tiers to them too. So what's the card number on the back of the card? Uh, N1S-8. Okay, so that's just the normal version. So 1 through 10 are the normals. And then 11 through 15 are the SPs. And then the 16 through 20 are the SSPs. All right. Very nice. You'll let me know when when one of those happen because I won't <laughs> be able to remember that. Um, Franklin Richards, that's a new name. Venom. Another Venom. Another Venom. Okay. Four annual. Tennis. Canvas. Oh, I like this. Valkyrie. Yeah, the Valkyrie. Nice. Yeah, Valkyrie. I really like the art of her. I'm used to seeing her in like a more masculine happened. Sam Wilson. Sweet. <clears throat> I appreciate you coming on and doing this box break with us. Thank you yeah. Thank for having me on. <laughs> That's right. By the time we no, get to really, this is something I never would have thought that I would ever do. I have so much anxiety about socializing and all that. So we all do. Yeah, we yeah. all do. Fast, fastos. Yeah. Number one spot. Spider-Man Crossroads, Symbiote Spider-Man. Black Winter Canvas. Nice, that's a good hit. Nice. I gotta learn where my camera is on this one. <laughs> Sunfire. That's good. And Jessica Jones. Yeah. How many packs do you have left, Brittany? Uh, four. Oh, yeah, almost done with the box then. All right. Four packs left. It does feel weird, though, like the packs when you're holding them after opening so many things of Flare Ultra Avengers. It feels so skinny compared to those because they it, are, but it's just. Yeah. Like, I, I get that. I love the thicker packs, though. <clears throat> I do too. Yeah, but these these cards are, in my opinion, they're way better condition than the Spider-Man Metal and X-Men Metal sets were. For mm -hmm. sure. Ooh, we got Polaris. Out of the last three years' annual, this is my favorite annual set, and I think it's because they threw in a couple like curveball ones, like the. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, the backscatters is like a great one, you know? Um, and uh, what else did they put in here? Well, the um, suspended animations. The suspended animation ones. Because of yeah. those, hands down, it's my favorite annual the last three years. I don't think that I've seen annual except for the last the last one and i've only seen a few cards because it, w it came in like a lot that i bought okay um, so it doesn't have that many of them but 
I did get to see a few of them. Yeah, since 2016, they've had one every year. Star Lord. So, is this set a continuation of the 1994 Flare Annual? Did that transition to this set? No, not at all. No, Blair and, mm -hmm. the, the logo and all that stuff is not even. Um, no, no, I know that. I know that aspect of. But from the the annual perspective, did they take that and just transfer? Like I don't they think, got rid of Flair and then the annual just carried forward. I don't think it's related. To no. be honest. Um, which ones were you saying? What is that one? Just a regular. So, this, so these are just normal inserts. Okay. So there's not there's not variations of those inserts at all. Which one was the tier one? The the ones that are tiered are your um, the splash tier. Yeah, and you should you should only get one of those per box. Okay. That's true. Danny Moonstar. Technically, the odds are one in every twenty three packs, but. They're saying it's supposed to be one per box. Okay. But yeah, Upper Deck has definitely gotten away from like promising specific things in boxes. Yeah. And gone more of the on average route. Correct. Because then if you miss something, they don't have to replace the big, oh, on average, somebody else got another one and you didn't, so. <laughs> Cersei. Mm -hmm. Yelena Belova. Yeah. Yep. That's, uh, want, that's um, Natasha's sister. Natasha? Yeah, the Black Widow, that's her sister. Okay. So Black Widow's real name is Natasha? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They only know Rogue. Oh. Speaking of. Speaking yeah. of. <laughs> you know, Andy got the silver over, so nice. Did she, did she just pull silver? Nice. Yeah. yeah. And Magneto. Magneto. Yeah. Oh, she looks feisty. She does, doesn't she? <laughs> that's, that's a, a good, good one. Card. Congrats. Like that, that's great to pull uh, Rogue out of your box. She's all like, get, get away from Gambit. <laughs> oh, I hope, you know what? I actually hope I get a Gambit. I don't think he's in Gambit's this Gambit's not in this set. Yeah, he's not in oh, this Oh, he's not? No. Yeah, unfortunately, no. he's not. Unfortunately, oh, wow. he's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White box. There could be sketches, no. but two more. And then I have two more boxes coming, but they won't be here until uh, beginnings releases. You yeah. can always reach out and ask them if they'll 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 just ship them, you know, earlier for you. Okay. Maybe you I'll do that. Have to wait. Do you get emails from it, any of them? Is there because um, typically when you get an email from David Adams on your order, it shows who your your representative is, and you want to contact your representative. So. Oh, okay, I didn't know that they assigned specific people to your order. Yeah, to your account, you have a specific person. So. Okay, I'll I'll look more into that then. Yeah, I would love to get the other boxes that I ordered sooner like my Pokemon um fortunately oh. more beginnings should be coming out pretty soon I think I think it's scheduled yeah it's only like 10 more month. days yeah. I think yeah something like that so I might as well just wait all right let's see we got Daredevil nice Gertrude your Works. Ooh. Uh, number one spot, Beta Ray Bill. Yeah. 
that one. Gamora. Silver. Yep. Cool. Nice. I like that one. And Switch Spider card. Spider Woman. Spider Woman. That's right. Alright, last pack. Last pack. Pops up, Josh. Are you gonna try to get the hologram of Spider Woman? Um there's actually a guy that has Derp sent me someone that already has uh I think it's out of twenty one or it's a hologram. I'm gonna reach out to him. Alright, Scarlet Spider. Nice. Multiple man. Uh it's Number one spot, Sinister Ward. And Luke Cage. There's your silver. And Ultimatum. Ultimatum. Yeah, so hit-wise, it seems like you got all the hits you should get out of a normal box. So, did you oh, hear sure. what Upper Deck said and who Ultimatum is? No. It's a variant of Miles Morales. Is that crazy? They were explaining it today on uh, when they were talking about... I don't know if you guys saw that on Twitch, but uh, Upper Deck was on there. They gave me a shout out because I had some questions... And they actually answered one of them about holograms. I don't know if you saw that post today. Yeah, I saw that. Um, but uh, they were talking about Ultimatum. They were talking about every single card in there, like a lot of the rookie cards and all that stuff. If you want to learn about who, why they put those in there. But Ultimatum, they said, was Miles Morales, a variant of Miles Morales. Crazy. Hmm. Didn't even think it. That's what it is. Crazy. Have a good night. Bye, Great box break, Brittany. You did awesome. Thank you. Thanks, it was nice meeting you on camera. Uh, all good. There'll be other times. Y'all have a good night, guys. Okay, see Thanks. you later. Right. Have a good night. Yeah. All right, Brittany, you wanna you wanna get your uh, your couple of your hits out and show show those for the very last, and then we can probably wrap it up. Are, are these just the silver the parallels, silvers. right? Yep. Yep. So the okay. silvers. So, just, yep. Luke Cage, Gamora, yep. my girl Rogue. Rogue, good job. Danny Moonstar. So, was that four or five of silvers? Black Widow. Okay. So, those five. And then Venom for the canvas. Canvas. Star Lord. Nice. Athena. Okay. Galactus. Black Winter. Tennis. Polaris. Okay. Eight canvas. I'm sorry. Was that eight canvas then? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. And, and then, then you got your uh, humble Dr. beginnings. Doctor Strange. Of You're good. All right. Sorry. So Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yes. Yes. And yeah. then the splash ticular. Yeah. And then, and then you get the autograph. I, I don't know. Um, Where's the auto? Where'd it go? I don't know what characters these are. What's it say on the back for? Yeah, the, the back. It'll usually tell what, you like what the um, the comic is. Yeah. United States of Captain America number one. Okay. Okay. Well, and then you had your autograph. And too. then your auto. And oh your big yeah. Hit. Where'd it go? The universe stole that already. She just <laughs> stuck it in her pile of cards. She's like, eh, where go. did it go? <laughs> it was early on. 
Yeah, and... I was way. It was like second pack, wasn't it? Uh... What'd you do with there the it is. There, it, there is. it is. Let's see that one more Creators time. Creators corner. Jason Aaron Ryder for Avengers number twenty-three. Or I'm sorry, forty-three. Cool. Very cool. cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great, Brittany. I appreciate it. And thank you so much. And True Blue, Nathan, thank you for joining yeah, us as well. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Brittany, great job on your box. Yes, thank you, you guys really for nice staying up there. and doing this with me. Oh, for sure. And guiding me through. <laughs> no, we appreciate you. And uh sounds like you may have some uh boxes in the future to break and Maybe we'll invite you on the Marvel round table and we can do it there. Alrighty. See what we can do. Okay. See you guys. Right, you guys have a good night. You too. Bye.